Welcome back, this is the Amit Jack, and today we got uh, Gunslinger Outpost Suicidal. And uh, today I got my uh, my package delivered, so that was fun. It was supposed to come on Friday, but I got a, uh, I got a message today that says uh, it was out for delivery, so I could expect it on February 2nd. Today is February 3rd, so I was like, I don't know how it's getting here yesterday, but uh, okie dokie. Um, so, anyway, it did come, it, it ended up coming today. What did I get? Well, add some adult entertainment. I got, um, do I talk about it? Do I talk about it explicitly? Do we, do we go that route? I mean, I've done it before, right? Maybe, maybe. I don't know. So it's weird when I own them, you know what I mean? But but sure. I mean this is this is my adult channel, right? Like that's that's what it's for. I'm gonna We're gonna do sex toy reviews eventually. Maybe, I don't know. Something I need on the sailboat for sure. Um anyway. I got uh, I got three well like no, five things. Um One was a pair of uh, of clamps around the uh chest area, a couple of nipple clamps. Um which, you know, if, if you're like some dude and you don't see the point to them, I understand it. I get it. It's hard to see the point to it. But when, you, when you're on like estrogen or you're a cis woman, um, they become substantially more uh, sensitive somehow or other. And uh, all of a sudden, it becomes a uh, a rather enjoyable thing to have in the uh, in the toolkit. Um, then I got a, uh, a bottle of, uh, of lubricant, of course. Always need that. Can't get away without it. And then um, I got uh, a plug. I got a uh, prostate massager, and I got an mm, enema thingy. And that all came today. I was a little bit concerned that it was going to be coming while other people were home. Because they always harass me, my mother does anyway, to like open up the package and like look at it. And I'm like, I don't really want to because like it's going to make a big deal. But then like if I don't open it and show them, they're just going to make a big deal out of it by like being like, what'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? I'm like, I don't know. Do I? So like it's, it's not like I don't want them to know. Because I'm pretty open about um like sexually um i'm 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 fairly i'm not i'm not super reserved personally i'm uh, i'm i'm open about my uh my desires and my like what i enjoy and stuff you know um but uh like it's just, it's just like i don't want like you know i don't i don't want to deal with the people talking about it and and uh making a big deal out of it you know and then um, the other side is I don't want to deal with uh, with people being like, "What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get?" So it's like it's like I have to make the decision between like which of those am I going to be more annoyed by? And it's like I don't know. So I uh, I just didn't want to make the decision. You know what I mean? I didn't want that decision to be something I had to to, to make. I didn't want to have to to make. And then I didn't have to. It came uh, earlier this morning, uh, and I didn't have nobody was home. It was just me. So I went out and got it. Opened it all up. Sanitized it all, washed it all, and I uh, got to uh, playing with some stuff. I've got the um, clamps around like a chain, if you can hear that. That's uh, two clamps next to uh, attached by a uh, chain that just apply pressure and make you feel good. You know, normal stuff. Normal, normal stuff. I don't have, I, I mean, I have them. I can't really make noise on them, though. Uh, the other stuff. I guess I could go and squeeze an enema, but it's just, like, air. <sighs> and then the other, the rest of it is just silicone, so it's just, like, you know, at best. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's good. It's an exciting delivery, for sure. It'll be uh, a lot of fun. I haven't had uh, clamps before, so... It's been fun getting used to them and, uh, and learning about them. It's crazy how uh, how 
how much of a difference they can make to um, how enjoyable the experience is of uh, not sex necessarily, not necessarily masturbation either, but just the experience of like, I don't know, pleasure. It's crazy. Um, it's crazy. It really is. Um, and I wouldn't have done that before like uh, I started uh, hormone therapy. Would have just been like pain, whereas now it's it's pleasure. It's 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 it's, it's an entirely different experience, but one I like. So that was what I got in the mail today. I, uh, I tend to buy, you know, like once a month, I'll buy uh, some kind of toy, not necessarily a sex toy, um, but just like a toy in general, something uh, something new and exciting, um, like a game or. Um, you know, I'll spend some money on, like, uh, eating out some month or, you know, like, whatever. Some some kind of uh, a thing that I get to kind of spend on, on whatever I want and, uh, and have fun and enjoy. And uh, January's was uh, worth some toys, for sure. I don't know what I'm going to be doing for February. Simply towards the end of the month that I end up uh, splurging. Um... February's, I don't know what I'm going to get. Exactly. I'm thinking more more adult entertainment, to be honest. <laughs> Fill out my shelves. Get them populated with... Uh, with fun things. Honestly, like, one, one thing that I... like, We're going to go back to the sailboat topic, I guess, a little bit. But um, Wouldn't it be funny? Right? Like, just, just, just picture it. Okay? In your, in your brain hole. Right? Like just, just picture it. Okay. Sailboat. Right. You got, you got limited space. It's like this, this rugged environment. You're out in the ocean, and you know, all this kind of stuff. And and you go visit, you know, somebody's sailboat, and they just have a shelf of like dildos and butt plugs and vibrators and all, like. Wouldn't it be funny? Wouldn't it be funny? I do have to make sure I don't buy too much physical toys, though, anymore, anyway. Um, because a lot of it I'm not going to be able to, to take with me when I do go onto a boat, you know? Um, so, so I am going to be moving on to a sailboat. Uh, that is not in question. It's, it's just a matter of when will I be able to do it. Um, but I, I will be doing it. Um... So, you know, I'm, I'm kind of thinking ahead, just kind of thinking, you know, like, spend that money on other things, spend that money on saving towards a, a sailboat, spend that money on uh, things that I'm going to be able to take onto the sailboat or things that I'm going to consume before the sailboat, um, you know, thing, or, or things that I won't mind losing uh, when the sailboat comes around. But, like, you know, if I, if I end up buying, you know, so many dildos that, that I have to, like, throw some away... When cause it's, you can't, you can't like resell. You, dildos don't have resale value, okay? That you don't, you don't buy a used. You know, no. Um, no. You can, you can clean them, but no. Okay, just, just, just a big fat no. <laughs> it's a big fat no. Um. Anyway, uh, you know, if I end up buying so many of them that I have to throw them out, then that's just like, you know, filling landfills. It's just, it's just waste, and and that doesn't feel good. Um, so I'm gonna gonna try and keep it to a minimum. I don't have too many that I won't be able to take them on anyway, and I don't plan on buying so many, and I don't have like an addiction to it, so I don't really worry about it. But like, you know, it is a concern of mine. And then. Uh, you know, other things as well, like, I, I probably won't buy, like, you know, too many new computer parts and stuff, um, because it's, like, again, I'm just, I'm not taking my computer when I move on to a sailboat, um, this is what I'm talking about, everything I think about just ends up coming back, I think about sex toys, and, like, sticking silicone in my butt, and somehow that ends up at sailboats, okay, like, that's, that's the level of excitement I have for, for this, okay, <laughs> um, anyway,
Still alive? Bravo. It's uh. Yeah, it's it's just, it's it's a ways out still, you know. But I'm gonna gonna keep my sex toy purchases down to a minimum. Three a month. That's it. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. I don't I don't buy that many. Um, just just now and then. I, I do need a few more. But there there are a few that I that I need, and they will be going on. With, they will be going onto my sailboat with me when I buy that sailboat. Um, and I'll have people over, and they'll be like. Oh, what's this drawer for? And I'm like, oh, you know, dildos. <laughs> like, oh, are you gonna use that? Like, while we're like, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> you know, unless you want to help, <laughs> you don't say that. That's not that's not the right answer to that question, okay? I mean, unless it is, but it almost never is. Um, but no, it'd be, it'd be funny, right? To have like a, a drawer of dildos on this like limited space boat. I take it as a, as, a, as, a, as a necessary, especially, especially if I'm, uh, like, living on my own, on a boat. 100%, I, I need some massage sticks, you know? It's necessary, but it will be funny. Because they'll want a tour of the boat, right? And it's not like you can just like not give them a tour of your room. Because like there's gonna be stuff in in the room that they're gonna need too, right? Because they're like on a boat, you, you got very limited space, all right? So like, you know, your bedroom, you're gonna have storage for stuff underneath your bed. There might be food there. You know, you might keep tools, um, in in like some of the drawers and stuff. Like you have your clothes and stuff, but like you're gonna have to. You have to get creative with where you put stuff when you have limited space like that, right? Um, so they'll still need a a tour of the of the of my room, and they'll be asking questions like, "Okay, what's this drawer for? What's this one for?" And they'll be like opening drawers and looking at it, and uh, I'll, I'll have to explain to them that this is <laughs> this is the sex toy drawer. This is this is where all the dildos go. You're like, oh, gotcha. Where can I put mine? <laughs> you know what? It's the you know I mean, on like realistically while they're on the boat, I, I you know you 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 just kind of not really worry about that because uh, you know you know, you have limited space. You don't really have the opportunity to like do anything to involve like that. You know what I mean? So you wouldn't you wouldn't really worry about it while they're on the boat, but while you're uh, solo or if it's a romantic partner on the boat with you. Abso freaking Luli. Um, yeah, just just thinking about it is uh, is humorous to me. I've 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 watched a few boat tours. I haven't seen any dildos yet. I'm one hundred percent certain. Okay, that it's because um they uh just didn't put it on camera. <laughs> you know, um, they just—you know—it probably realistically is probably not a whole cupboard of drawer full of, of sex toys. It's you know your cupboard with your sex toys and stuff, and then um, you would also have other things in there. Um, you have to wash them in like fresh water too, or at least rinse them in fresh water. Um, maybe salt water. I'd, I'd be surprised. If silicone toys were like good with salt water, it'll be a, it'll be a concern I have when I <laughs> move on to a boat for sure. Um, glass toys are probably fine, but but they're not. I mean, they don't. You know, they're not. They're not soft. You know what I mean? I mean, silicone isn't like super soft either, but it's it's like stretchy. It's it's bendy. You know, it's pretty good stuff. Um. Anyway. Um, so you know you'd have the drawer full of of toys, and then you'd have other stuff in there as well. So you probably just like take the the toys out. So you know, go, what I'm saying, okay, what I'm saying is uh, is look at all these sail, uh, liveaboards, okay? You need these liveaboard uh, uh, sailing channels, and and go watch their uh, their tour of the boat where they go through all the cupboards and and all the stores that they have and and show off all the stuff they have. Whichever one looks oddly empty, that's where they put their sex toys. I'm calm. I'm, I'm just saying, okay. I'm, ju I'm just saying, okay. 
I'm sorry for outing you all. Okay. But where else we going? Come on. You're just you're just sanitizing the the content for YouTube. I won't. I mean, I will. I'll just have a, an unsanitized version on this channel, perhaps. I probably won't. Um, I almost like definitely won't. <laughs> and like, it's, it's, like at the end of the day, I may um, I may one day get into reviews. Like, look, if it gets me a sponsorship, happily. If it doesn't, I don't know. I might still do it just because I don't know. Like, I I feel like it's it's good to have reviews of this kind of stuff so people know what's like good to buy and stuff. Because there isn't there's a lot of stigma around this kind of stuff, and it's bad for for people who like want to buy something and they end up buying something that's like not safe for your body. Um, and they like end up you know p putting themselves at risk when they're when they really don't need to. Um, so I might I might end up you know someday when I when I get into to live content. Um, Making vlogs on uh, like reviews and stuff like that on these kinds of things, um, but that's different from like showing your house around and like showing off a, a, your sex toys in that, you know? Because like that content would be more family friendly oriented, not necessarily like family friendly, but like it, it would be more. Um, I don't know, because there, there'd be, like, probably a lot of half-naked me <laughs> and whoever I'm with. Because, um, you know, you're on a boat in the middle of the ocean. It's hot. I'm, you know, just take your clothes off. Um, you know, and, like, the, these people who are out on sailboats, you, you go watch these channels. Yeah, they got, like, naked girls in the thumbnail and stuff. And they got, like, naked girls on beaches and stuff. It's just, like, they're not stripping down just for the camera. Okay? That's just what you wear when you're in like a really hot environment sailing around the world like there's nobody around you don't have to like worry about being seen or like you know public exposure or whatever you know like it's it's just you so just wear whatever is like comfortable at the time right um and then when you make vlogs it's not like you're gonna go get dressed and be like in uncomfortable clothes to show off what's happening you're just gonna be like yeah deal with it i'm in like my underwear um anyway so it wouldn't be like family friendly because I'd I'd be like definitely on the camera half naked a lot of the time, um, and uh, but you know like you, you just you just take it away so that it's a little bit more less controversial I suppose less controversial is kind of the right way to put it, um, and then like putting it back for like a separate take of the tour just so that people can see your sex toys like just go watch the reviews dude, go watch Yama's. Sailing Toys review. I don't know. I was trying to think of a name that would kind of play on the, the sex toys and the sailing. Like reviewing on a sailboat. I don't know. Doesn't matter, man. Doesn't matter. It's all good. Anyway, that's what I got in the mail today. It was fun. I almost left. Uh, I opened it up downstairs. The the whole like, you know, kajujal. I opened it up downstairs and uh, like took it apart, cleaned it all, sanitized it, um, threw out all of the packaging and all of that, and then I left. Um, I believe it was the lube. I just like left it in the living room. <laughs> just like in the middle of the living room, um, and I didn't notice until like. Just before I started recording, it, so I'm, I'm really glad I did. Cause look, like, I'm still recording. There are people home. If uh, if I hadn't noticed just before I started recording, I would it would be there still, and people would see it, and they'd be like, "What's this? Anal? Lo uh, okay, I'm just gonna leave that one there. Um, can we didn't see it? Like, uh huh. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> My bad." I've done that a few times, actually. Accidentally leave your lube out. Nobody talks about it, you know? Nobody's like, hey, you left your lube out, dumbass. I'm like, oh, oops. They just, like, ignore it and pretend it's not there. And I'm like, did anybody see it or not? I don't know. Can I? Is this a safe place to leave it? Do people not care? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I, I, have, uh, I, have, I have a few times. Um... 
try not to because I don't know. If people aren't talking about it, probably because they make them uncomfortable and they don't want to bring it up. I'm not uncomfortable, but it's like it's the respectful thing to do, right? But, you know, accidents happen when you live in the same house. You're going to see each other's dildos. It's just the way it goes. It's going to happen at least once, you know. It's okay. Anyway. Anyway. I'm hoping it's uh, it's it's a new it's a new lube. I'm hoping it's good. There's like there's like uh, like sort of three or four main like things. They kind of determine how good uh, how good a lube is. Um, the first of which is, um, you know, just does it actually like do its job? Does it actually make things a little bit more lubricated and uh, and simpler to to do what you're trying to do? Does it actually do that? A lot of them don't do it that well. Um, this cat's back in the game. A lot of them don't, which is sad. I hate seeing blood in um, and then the uh, the other one is, uh, you know, the smell, and uh, depending on what you're doing, possibly taste. Um, for me personally, the, the the taste of it doesn't really matter. Um, but you know, if, like for instance, with uh, with partners, if you're gonna be having some fun and then also doing some some oral fun um, you might want a flavor that's not like undesirable um, or like flavorless you know just some so it doesn't like suck you're not like sucking on like a stick of weird paper mache or something you know um, so the, the taste is, is obviously there. Um, the smell is more important to me personally. Uh, as long as it's like mostly scentless, that's that's pretty good. As long as it works pretty well, it's pretty good. The taste doesn't really matter. Um, they're not like you shouldn't be eating your lubricant, but like some of it's you know depending on what you're doing, some of it's gonna end up in your mouth. It's just the way it goes, okay? I mean, unless your lubricant is is non-toxic, then go for it, I guess. But I don't know if mine is. I haven't checked. Also. Like, like non-toxic to be, like, ingested, I guess. Because, like, you want it to be non-toxic to be used, <laughs> you know? Um, but then uh, you also want it to be non-toxic to be ingested if you're going to be doing that. Which you shouldn't be, ever, really, but, like, yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter, okay? Um, and then the uh, the fourth thing that, that kind of matters is, like, the price of it, if it's affordable, you know? And uh, I guess like the texture of it kind of matters as well. Like there's like different types of stuff. You got like the the more wet stuff, and then you got like gel kind of stuff, and like stuff that's mimicking various body fluids. To you know, you got different textures and thicknesses and viscosities and stuff. So um, I haven't had this one before. Haven't used it. Still haven't used it. I don't know when I'm gonna use it, but we're gonna see. And uh, I'll get back to you. I'll let you know after I stick something up my butt with it. <laughs> it's weird, right? I don't care. I'll talk about whatever I want, dude. I have no limits. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.